Hi, I'm Richard. We're here at the Flying Heritage and Combat Armor Museum. I'm a Dustin here, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about one of the artifacts in our collection, and that would be our half track here. So a question occasionally comes up, why was it called a half track? Well, very simply, we just can look at the vehicle, wheels in front, and a track in the back. They found that an all-wheeled vehicle like this wouldn't have the mobility that a vehicle with a wheel and a track would have. So we could go off-road, so also it could keep up with the tanks, which were fully tracked. Our artifact here, this half track, was used as a personnel carrier. It carried a crew of two, a driver and then a gunner, which we'll talk about the weapons on this in a moment. And it also could carry approximately 10 soldiers, usually a squad of infantry. They were used as scouting vehicles, reconnaissance. They would travel on the outsides of the columns or convoys to kind of look for any trouble. When they encountered any enemy, the troops inside would dismount and fight as infantry. But this vehicle was also very versatile. They mounted artillery pieces on it. They also had mortars inside them, so then you could have your mortar and move. They used them as ambulances. They would put lots of radios in them and use them as command cars. This vehicle has, you can see, what's called up in the pulpit right above where the driver drives, a 50 caliber machine gun, and most of them also had on each side, we have the mounts, would have 30 caliber machine guns, so it's a very effective fighting machine used during the war.